how do we handle this? There is something very weird going on here. I think everyone can admit that. Um, I, I, I got to be honest with you. We talk about like World Press Freedom Day. I don't even know if I want to say his coach's name because this guy, That's the last time, I, well, the That's last time wants. I had him on my show, no joke, no cap, 30 straight text messages <laughs> afterwards. And let me tell you, bizarre freaking text messages, threatening text messages. To you? Text, yes, to me. Why? And I'm like, I don't want questions? this guy is, I mean, <laughs> look, have you seen him? So, I've, so seen, I've met him. I, they, I, they, they, attack, they attack me. What happened? So tell us. So how are we going to handle this? How are we going to handle this? Are we are we going to say who we're talking about? I mean, I feel like I mean, it's our. I, I think I think it goes without the, the name, right? Like, so when you let's get just a guy say like this me. man's name is Joshua Fabia. Yeah, he has get, taken Diego under his wing. He's from the school of self awareness, and ever since. I mean, but have you ever met anybody that's less self aware? I mean, it's. Have you ever it, in your life met somebody that's less self aware? How about putting out these videos? thinking that it makes them look good in the it fighter meetings worse. it makes them look a thousand times worse <laughs> well, what are you thinking guys what is My going boy, on Felder goes what <laughs> the beep <laughs> are you talking about it felt it goes well they looked amazing in that but that's the thing right like you're in this fighter meeting and this is paul felder paul felder's a fighter he's not just a broadcaster you can't attack him in that way he's going to say something to you and then like felder's like offended like yo get out what are you doing? Like, what are you? We're here to talk to Diego, but that's the problem. That's the problem. The guy starts to become so important. He wants to be such a massive part of what's going on that he just, he imparts himself in, in ways that he should not be involved. So even the, it, listen, Hunter Campbell handled that about as good as anyone I've ever seen in my life handle a situation like this, because you can tell what they're, you can tell what the guy's doing. You can tell what he's doing. It's almost mm -hmm. like, they were trying to build a, a lawsuit or something against the UFC with the with the with the line of questioning that they were going down. But this guy, and you could tell when it's this guy and not Diego Ariel. The whole thing is him, bro. After the Diego's fight, like off to the side. After the fight, Diego's like message direct messaging me on Instagram, and I'm like, this isn't Diego, right? Mm -hmm. It's not him because Diego's always been a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he did to get. Listen, man, from the yes to all the other things that Diego was. And I liked the guy. He was always a gentleman. But Diego was always very, uh, you could you could uh, guide him. And when the wrong person gets a hold of a person that has that kind of fo followers mentality or is a little bit not as strong-willed here, they can really take you down the path. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening with Diego right now. And this guy's a bad guy, man. I'm telling you, the dude is, is not, he is not caring about Diego and Diego's best interest. 